You hold the South Island Contribution Work Visa. You have remained employed in the same industry and region for the last two years. Now, you can apply for South Island Contribution Resident Visa. The resident visa validity is unlimited and holders can work, live and study in New Zealand. You can also bring your family members to New Zealand under this visa. Watch this video till the end to learn all about it. Hi, I'm Behnam from the Visa Library. This channel gives visa information and the latest news and updates. Here, you'll learn all about South Island Contribution Resident Visa. Before I begin, subscribe to this channel and get hit the bell. You mustn't miss any updates. Also, my colleagues have prepared a free cheat sheet that you can download from the link in the description. It, it's helpful and holds necessary information along the way. Now, let's begin. Let me ask you this. Who can apply for a South Island Contribution Resident Visa? Here are the eligibility principles. Number one, you need to have at least two years of employment experience on a South Island Contribution Visa. You must already have a South Island Work Contribution Work Visa. Visit the Visa Library article from the link in the description to learn about it. If you want us to make a video about it, just tell us in the comment section. Number two, you must have at least two years of work experience in the industry and region recorded in the South Island Contribution Work Visa. Number three, your employer mustn't be included on the list of non-compliant employers. Number four, you must have an ongoing job under a South Island Contribution Work Visa. When you apply for this resident visa, you must have your current job or have a job offer with the following characteristics full-time and paid by salary or wages, continuous, sustainable, and real job offer. It must be permanent for at least two years. Your job offer must be in the region recorded on the South Island Contribution Work Visa. Your employer must comply with the immigration and employment laws and not to be on the list of compliance employers maintained by the Labor Inspectorate. Only if you're eligible, you may apply for the resident visa. Now, are you wondering how should you apply for a resident visa? First, you must gather the supporting documents. They must prove your eligibility. By looking back at the items of qualification, you can find the supporting documents. You also need this list of documents. You must provide two acceptable photos. It would be better to be for the last three months. A copy of your passport is needed as well. The next one is medical examination. To prove your good health, you should do a medical examination and chest x-ray. Also, you must present a clean record certificate to prove your good character. This certificate is required for all people aged 17 and older. To receive this certificate, you must refer to your country of citizenship or the country where you have been for a year or more during the last 10 years. Also, you must complete the paper application form. You can download it from the link in the description. Then, you must submit the application and the supporting documents to the New Zealand immigration officials. Visit the New Zealand immigration website. The link is in the description again. Click the check criteria red button. Insert your nationality and location. Then insert your region on the check and process button. It will tell you the fees and where to submit your documents. If there is anything else you need to do, New Zealand officials will be in touch. They contact you and tell you what to do. Also, they might ask you to pass an interview. It's not a big deal, just questions about your background and employment. It takes some time until they decide on your application and issue the resident visa. When it's done, the New Zealand immigration officials will inform you of the result and further steps to take. Remember one point. You must hold a valid visa while you are in New Zealand. If your current temporary visa expires before the officials decide on your residence application, you should apply for a further temporary visa if you want to remain in New Zealand. You could also apply for a South Island Contribution Resident Visa from outside of New Zealand. But you must be eligible and meet the conditions. Alright then. This was all you need to know about South Island Contribution Resident Visa. If you have questions that we did not cover in this video, write them down in the comments section. My team at the Visa Library will answer them right away. Before you leave, like this video, hit the bell and download the free cheat sheet my colleagues have prepared for you from the link in the description. Until the next video, thank you all for watching.